And back here locally, let's go ahead and take a check of this mm -hmm. weather. Yeah, so over the last few days, we've been talking about going on a roller coaster. Yes, we're it really has still, been. Thomas. Yeah, so we're down at the bottom, but we're at okay. the part of the roller coaster where you're catching your breath, but we're about to do some of those twists and turns. Okay. Before Just we when start. I caught my breath, yeah. you're going to do that to us. Yeah, because we got a couple of systems that are heading yeah. our way to round out the work week. So it's a bit chilly out there right now, but we'll go ahead and begin with your good for Utah headlines, which include those below average temperatures as we round out the work week. We'll be staying on the breezy side of things, unsettled weather for our Thursday and Friday, then those temperatures will be milder this weekend. And by this weekend, we'll likely see most spots see above average temperatures. But on the storm tracker radar currently, you can see the cold front that moved through yesterday. Now well down to our south and to our southeast. We have a brief period of high pressure in here right now. But there's a little bit of energy coming in from the northwest. You can already see a few showers that have developed in Elko County in northeast Nevada. And these showers will be making their way into northern Utah as we go into tonight and into tomorrow. In the meantime, Looks pretty nice out there. This is the view from Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab. Doesn't really get much better than that. Always a beautiful view, especially on this early Wednesday afternoon. I guess it'd be late Wednesday afternoon. Here's the current view from Deer Valley. Partly cloudy skies above. Still a beautiful view looking down towards Jordan L Reservoir and also towards the Uintas. And of note, Deer Valley, with the snow that we've seen over the last couple of days, it's not a lot, but it was enough for Deer Valley to get into the 600-inch club for snowfall for the season. And that's well past their record that was in the upper 400s before this season. Those temperatures on the chilly side of things were generally sitting in the 40s in most locations outside of the high country, but Heber City sitting at 40 41 degrees, while St. George we're currently sitting at 61 degrees, so temperatures sitting below our seasonal averages. And for tonight, we'll be turning cold once again as along the Wasat front, those overnight lows dropping into the low and mid 30s. Then those daytime highs tomorrow, almost a carbon copy compared to what we're going to see or what we're seeing out there currently. While in southern Utah, with more sunshine, we're likely going to warm up at least a little bit more compared to what we saw today. So in Cedar City, a daytime high of 54 and 70 degrees in St. George, but we're going to have that chance for wet weather in northern Utah. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. Moment. But in the southeastern portion of the state, we have hard freeze warnings and also freeze warnings for the San Rafael swell. And you have portions of Grand County for Arches and Grand Flat and in southeastern Utah, including Blanding and Mexican Hat, as overnight lows tonight could drop as low as 26 degrees. So make sure you protect any of those sensitive plants. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast at 6 o'clock this evening, and you'll notice that high pressure is going to quickly get out of the way as we go into tonight. And by the overnight hours, the chance for showers will start to ramp up in the northern half of the state. Shouldn't be anything too significant, but with those winds out of the northwest, we could see some of these showers get some lake enhancement. So there is a chance that tomorrow morning when you wake up for that early Thursday morning commute, you could see some snow. Again, not expecting anything too significant, but we could see some slippery streets out there. And with that energy working its way in by the latter half of the morning into the early afternoon, scatter showers expected to continue in northern Utah through at least the first portion of the afternoon. By the time we get into Thursday evening, though, high pressure briefly builds in once again as a ridge of high pressure tries to set up in the upper levels of the atmosphere, but a system's going to try to undercut that. So by the time we get into our Friday, we could be talking about the chance for more valley rain and mountain snow, predominantly in northern Utah, as our temperatures in southern Utah will continue to climb. As for tomorrow, with that energy moving in, there's also going to be more potential for some thunderstorms generally in north central Utah, including the Wasat Front. And we could also see a few thunderstorms in the northeastern half of the state as well. But here's a look at your high temperature trend as we go into this upcoming weekend. Even though we're going to be talking about that unsettled weather for your Thursday and Friday, temperatures will gradually be increasing. And by Sunday, we could be above average before another system could bring impacts to mainly the northern half of the state early next week. And St. George will be in the low 70s tomorrow. Breezy conditions to close out this work week. But by the time we get into your Saturday and Sunday, daytime highs, upper 70s, low 80s. Then the temperatures ease slightly going into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week as the winds stick around. Then along the Wasatch Front, a chance of rain and snow for our Thursday, then a chance for showers on Friday. Just maybe a lingering chance early on Saturday, but for the weekend, looking to be pretty nice as daytime highs will eventually climb into the middle 60s before bringing back that chance for some more wet weather going from our Monday into our Tuesday. If you want to stay on top of your weather with all these changes coming our way, just make sure you download the Pinpoint Weather app. Go to the Apple App Store, Google Play, it's free. All you have to do is scan the QR code right there on your screen. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.